Hello dear students, welcome to your PDA. Today I am going to discuss uh, one of the most commonly asked question in any interviews. And this is the question that was asked previously in ISRO. See, the question looks simple, but later there will be lot of cross questions and there will be lot of uh, discussion on the question. See, you will you'll feel the atmosphere of ISRO interview question with this question. Okay. The question is, the question is very simple for electrical engineering in fact, in from power systems. The question is, what is the condition for maximum receiving in real power for a transmission line? The question is very simple. See, uh, even every one of you know answer for this. But uh, let's understand what is the extension of this, this uh, question asked by them. Okay, yeah. The question is, yes, the question is, what is the, what is the condition what is the condition for maximum receiving end real power receiving end real power for a transmission line i am writing very simply tr line transmission so for this we have to take uh, the real power equation of a transmission line at the receiving end in fact yeah receiving and real power to be maximum what is the condition yeah let's take a white page ma let's take a white page yes yeah let's take a white page and uh, do it yeah what is pr pr is equal to yeah pr is equal to mod V s mod V r by mod B cos of beta minus delta minus mod V r square in into mod A by mod B cos of beta minus alpha. This is uh, the units of this one are megawatts or watts. Okay. Now how to get it? We all know derivative this one with respect to the variable means uh, dpr by d delta equal to 0 you do then you are going to get uh, delta is equal to beta delta is equal to beta means first of all what is a b and what is delta beta delta alpha just give me some small glance you all know but let me mod vs is the sending end voltage mod vr is the receiving end magnitude of the voltage mod vs mod indicates magnitude only not angle okay mod b a, B, C, D are the transmission line parameters. Yes, mod B is the magnitude of the parameter B. Beta is beta is the angle of this uh, B, parameter B. Delta is called as load angle. Delta is called as load angle. We all know. A is uh, one of the parameter of uh, transmission line in A, B, C, D parameters. That is A. Its angle is alpha. Now, if you do this derivative, you are going to get delta equal to beta. Now, the first question asked was is, uh, see, delta equal to beta is this correct or beta equal to delta is this correct in these two which one is correct so some people will say sir both looks like same delta equal to beta or beta equal to delta both are same either of those two both are correct both are correct no beta is equal to delta is wrong this is correct why sir why see delta is variable beta is constant once a transmission line is designed it's a uh, a, B, C, D parameters are fixed. Those are not going to change. A, B, C, D parameters are going to depend on the transmission line configuration, but not on the input voltage, power, current, power factor. Nothing is going to affect A, B, C, D parameters and its associated angles. C, A, mod A at an angle alpha, B, mod B at an angle beta, C, mod C at an angle gamma, D, mod D at an angle delta. Delta, triangular delta, not this del. This is called as load angle delta del. Okay? Yes. Now, we can assign a constant to a variable, but never we can assign a variable to a constant. Beta equal to delta is wrong, delta equal to beta is correct. How much we are going to get, then what is PR max? What is a PR max? If you substitute this delta equal to beta in this, this will become 1. And how much it is? Mod Vs, mod Vr by mod B minus, yes, mod Vr square into mod A by mod B cos of beta minus alpha megawatts this is the maximum amount of power that can be received at the receiving end side see for, in, for a transmission line 
Now till here, okay, this is very simple. But now the question is, for what loads, for what kind of loads, maximum receiving in real power is possible? Yes. So this is the perfect question, for perfect interview discussion question. Okay. For what loads, what type of loads? We have resistive loads, uh, RL loads, RC loads. Okay. RC loads are very rare. Most of the loads are uh, inductive type loads. Okay. For what loads maximum receiving in real power is possible? Yes. This, this is our discussion. This is our discussion. In the interview, yes. Sir. They ask this question. In the interview, they ask this question. Yes, one of the very important questions. Yeah. This is the extension of that question. Ma. Please concentrate. All of you very, very well here. See, for what loads? For what type of loads? Or for what loads? For what loads? PR max is possible yes now student will get stuck here sir it should be possible for any load it should be possible for any load with the condition delta equal to beta if i maintain the load angle equal to transmission line uh, impedance angle in fact i can say that is b is impedance generally mod b at an angle beta if i maintain load angle equal to that value then that's enough no that is possible for all loads let's see whether it is possible or not See, for that, we need that reactive power equation. QR is equal to mod Vs mod Vr by mod B sine of a beta minus delta minus mod Vr square into mod A by mod B sine of, sorry, sine of, yes, beta minus alpha m v a r s vars mega vars okay now he is asking for what type of loads for leading loads or lagging loads or for resistive loads or for any load this uh, maximum receiving in real power is possible let's see what is the condition for maximum receiving in real power delta must be equal to beta if i put that if i put that this particular part will become equal to zero then what you are going to get uh, qr is equal to minus uh, mod vr square into mod a by mod b sine of uh, beta minus uh, alpha m v a r s now we observe yeah first of all we have to get some idea on these uh, uh, values mod v r mod it is positive mod a positive mod b positive beta is the impedance angle and alpha is very well less you see alpha will be from 0 to 1 degree practically value of alpha is 0 to 1 degree so this is always positive this is always positive there is no situation that it is going to be negative never it is going to become negative mod v r mod a mod b all are positive therefore qr is what ma qr is negative what is first of all qr qr is the receiving and real power during maximum receiving and real power sorry i missed some word i i told some wrong word see qr is the max qr is the receiving and reactive power not real power q means a reactive power qr is the receiving and reactive power during maximum receiving and real power now qr is what negative or positive negative which loads what type of loads are going to have negative negative reactive power negative means what it is absorbing or supplying supplying means if delta equal to beta definitely it has to be and the load angle is not in our hands that is in the hands of load means if you are keeping at the receiving end side this leading load then only the condition delta equal to beta is possible by keeping resistive load it is not possible to get delta equal to beta sir i do something such a way that delta equal to beta is going to happen it is not possible it is not possible only with the leading loads maximum receiving and real power is uh, possible see you, you see the question is very simple that what is the condition for maximum receiving and real power delta equal to beta but there from there how the interior extended the question to this understand okay so my final load point is my final load point is yes my final load point is see during during yes one of the very important note point during pr max what is that maximum receiving and real power qr is qr is negative that means that means that means pr max is possible 
possible only for only for pr max is possible only for yes which loads ma leading loads possible only for leading loads leading loads see in interviews uh, especially research uh, oriented companies interviews uh, question directly will not be asked they'll start with a simple question okay from there they start uh, extending okay if this happens what will happen to that this way the interview will extend thank you